Okay, so API 6.10. I think all of uh, you knows about API 6.10, but I do not know what is different with this type of centrifugal pumps. And uh, we always try to drive the uh, answers with, uh, with data, okay? And uh, the best data I can offer to you is the lifetime. The lifetime of a, of a pump, and if we consider the different uh, subfamilies, this is what we find uh, uh, in terms of a number of years of lifetime and type of pumps. As you can see, the API 610 pumps, we have been subdivided in uh, subfamilies. The overhand pumps, API 610, the between bearings, 610 uh, already, and a vertical sump pump. We are going to, to go to that point, who is who, but it is in, uh, very, very important to understand right now the big, the huge difference between the lifetime of API system pumps and other type of pumps, so water pumps or general industry pumps. So the average here is around 7.5 years. The average for water pumps is around 12 years. And the minimum of all the other pumps in API is at least 20 years. And what is, why is that so? Because the API 610 is mandatorily saying that uh, the lifetime, the uninterrupted uh, for three years of running those pumps, but the lifetime 20 years at, at, at minimum. Did you know? Yeah. So. What, what did you mean about with lifetime? With, when the pump is destroyed or refurbished or what, what terms are you using for defined lifetime? Lifetime is uh, the uh, availability of all their hydraulic and mechanical conditions at the point you define as lifetime. Finish it. Okay? So, if... Uh, but you can uh, restore the casing and you have... Uh, you can extend the lifetime, so... Of course. Uh, and, and then you will see that in many cases Pumps uh, between bearings have uh, 45 years of lifetime because you are replacing the casing or you are replacing the impeller. But the rest is evidently alive. So that's why we, we consider that the lifetime is when you are replacing one of the parts and the pumps continue the, 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 uh, uh, the running of, uh, or in the process. Okay, is it clear for you? I, I, I don't think you... you no, it's, just, it's a very uh, subjective uh, concept because <coughs> we can replace or we can uh, make a, a reform each of the rotor or whatever and we will extend the enough time forever. Uh, well, um, in, in principle, uh, you cannot do so because the, um, the current uh, security conditions in the plant uh, would be asking for you to change uh, the pump itself, because we are going to see afterwards how many changes are coming from the first edition of API to the 11th edition we have today. Now, uh, in fact, I have been worked with the uh, refinery with uh, API pumps fifth edition, mm -hmm. and they are working properly. Yeah, those pumps of uh, 35 years are fifth edition. That, that that's that's exactly where where the with the. Uh, Food, uh, food message is here. This is our internal source. So all these pumps in their different markets are produced by us and we have this experience. So for instance, fifth edition pumps, we are still having them alive, changing the impellers or changing the casing or changing, uh, refurbishing the mechanical seal. Okay? For instance, uh, now you know that uh, the mechanical seal that is recommended for uh, for, uh, to the API uh, 610 is either API 682 third or fourth edition. So then there is a program where it's not uh, led by, by the pump manufacturers, but for the mechanical seal manufacturers that uh, they are changing the mechanical seal, they are refurbishing the pumps of fifth edition to get them in, uh, in, in real good conditions for uh, running.